I do want to do some testing for Fallen Guillotine. This is the role we ended up getting. It is a frenzy surrounded role. We will be taking bets. And the bet will be, will this weapon out damage, request, lament, pretty much all the best swords in the game? That's going to be the question. This was our damage testing actually not that long ago at the top we had bequests at 1.565 we had throne cleaver we had the uh death razor heart shadow at 1.439 but that's because heart shadow is giving itself its own debuff and then we have lament now if you're like but what about slammer slammer's all the way down here slammer not good all right no buffs no anything no surges just going there doing damage Is Surrounded even proccing right here? Oh my god. It's, it's gotta be proccing. It's gotta be proccing. All right, so 1.5. Again, back to this screenshot. We're tying here with Throne Clipper. Now, the quest, the quest is still 1.56, which is wild. Now, because I feel like I'm having some issues with things proccing, I'm gonna transfer one other weapon. I'm gonna transfer a Vorpal roll. Let me try this real quick. All right, so frenzy, frenzy is obviously at work there. Let me, let me I don't know. I wonder what fell off right there. Spam light, no heavy. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to just show everybody what just light attack stuff. Is that two totems? Oh, that was two totems. Let me try that again. Hold on. What just happened? That's it. Can't, this can't be right. Maybe it's just because I'm I was killing the axe. What do we get? What do we get? You may be wondering what num why does why is that number significant? Again, when our testing, this is with the perfect phases. In our testing, we got 1.565728, and we just broke 1.6 with falling guillotine. Keep in mind, this is with a non-enhanced falling guillotine. Let's see if we can do it again though. One, six, one, two again, man. All right, we got it twice in a row. It's out damaging bequests here, guys. And we're not even in our final form, okay? 1.565 on, on bequests, you know, better than lament. Here's the thing. This sword is only going to get better. When we get into the final shape, we're going to be able to enhance around it, going from 35% to 41.75% from what FX just said. And then uh, Frenzy Enhance has 0.5 second forgiveness timer between damage for keeping it active. Okay. Swords are kind of a throw in game, and that is why you guys failed on day one Crota. Then using on Crota, I would like five members to join me. We need a Crota checkpoint right now. It appears that we have some people in here downing this sword. When you join me, I would also ask that you bring your best swords. I need five guardians with your best swords right now. Sclasm is joining us right now. Sclasm has got literally 
the god roll relentless strike surrounded with ball spec dirt is also rocking up the quest here that's oh, right look up at him that's right wow Dad, you want to look up at the target. Right, it seemed like it's, it seemed a bit better, a little more tamed, right? Ooh. Ooh. All right, all right. Why don't we just make this easier? Um, Jared, you come with me. Uh, guys, we're in a situation right now where we're one v one our swords. A quest versus frenzy and surrounded on Folly Ganty. That's essentially what's taking place right now. The problem is, even though Crota is is pretty awesome, he's got things like you know the sword damage that you're doing to him initially to break the shield. Dirt has backers on. Things are just a little funky. For this, let's take off all surges because. That's just going to be questionable whether or not we can get it to proc or not. And you've got better on war too. Again, Chad, this is his big quest right here. Jagged, heavy guard, relentless, and surrounded. Still not the 1.6 I got out of there. I bet if I would have just gotten one more hit in chat, we would have gotten it. Here's what I can say. A quest for long damage phases is the better sword, especially with Relentless. It has better ammo economy. It's craftable. Surrounded is enhanced. It's the better weapon. In, I guess, short bursts, if you can proc both Frenzy and Surrounded together, Volley Guillotine pretty much matches that of the quest. Maybe slightly edges it out. But dude, you got to proc Frenzy. I mean, it's already hard enough you're, you're having to proc Surrounded. But it does slightly edge it out just a bit. At the same time, though, this is Fallen Guillotine in its base form. We're eventually going to have Enhanced Surrounded on Fallen Guillotine. And then the decision on which sword you should bring in those damage phases that would require a sword or should require a sword, that gets a, that gets a bit tougher. The point is, should you farm for a God Roll Fallen Guillotine, a Surrounded Frenzy Fallen Guillotine, I wouldn't, I wouldn't kill yourself over it. I wouldn't drop every weapon that you're grinding for and just farm this one. Unless we just get irrefutable evidence that in the final shape, we're going to be chopping the kneecaps of the witness with swords. I don't think that's going to be the case. I mean, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised if the witness and its DPS phase is going to be something crazy where we're literally going to have to use a variety, like a combination of different things. But unless we get evidence tomorrow that, hey, we're bringing swords in there to take on the witness, then in that moment, I would be like, okay, maybe I'm going to go for that frenzy surrounded role. And that's if we can even keep surrounded props. Might be in a situation where if it's just us and the witness and nobody else, then that's a lot harder. And if that's the case, then I'm going to go roll win in frenzy. Personally, I really like what they've done with Falling 18 here. And I'm going to be grabbing, you know, a couple of roles for myself for whenever we do head into the final shape. But Again, there's a lot of other weapons and you have to make the decision on what you want to attune to. Falling 18 doesn't have to be at the top of your list. It's been at the top of my list because I wanted to do damage testing and see what it what it stacked up against the other swords. Currently right now, at least here at Warlord's Ruin, it was doing more damage. But again, we went to a, a longer damage phase against Crota and we saw where Falling 18 was falling behind the likes of the quest. So again, pros and cons to either sword. Again though, let me just stress, do not go out there and delete your bequest and be like, Fall of Guillotine is the absolute best. I'm not saying it is, it is the absolute best. I'm saying it's, it is good. Very good. Very good. Way better than Slammer in every metric. Fall of Guillotine is way better than Slammer. And it has surpassed pretty much every sword for me in short DPS bursts. For now, though, in long DPS phases, I think I would still take bequests. And I am just going to wait until the final shape. And we're going to see what Fall of Guillotine looks like with enhanced perks, with enhanced around it and everything else. And Frenzy, which is going to have more ease of use when it's enhanced. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.